The Prophet وسلم, said, hold, hold fast, hold tight to my sunnah and the sunnah of the writing of Khalifas. Tamasaku biha wa abdu alayha bin nawajiz. Hold tight to it, stick to it, and bite on it with your mola teeth. And he hold to it tight, adhere to it strictly. Naam, this is a serious matter. Don't take it lightly. Rather hold fast to the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ and that which we found yani, from the rightly guided Khalifas. And whoever doesn't really know what is a Salafiyya, that might include Muslims who identify themselves as being Salafi, as well as the larger majority of Muslims who have no clue what is Salafiyya and who think that it is something evil. The Prophet ﷺ mentioned that the Jews would be divided into 71 sects and the Christians would be divided into 72 sects and he said that my Ummah yani will in the future be divided into 73 sects and all of them would be in the fire except one and when they asked which one he said ma kana ala mithli ma ana alayhi yani those who are upon the like of what I am upon wa ashabi and my companions radiyallahu anhum ajma'in and this hadith makes us to know that the ummah would be split and the solution for that splitting is to follow the way of the Prophet ﷺ and his companions. So the road is clear, wadih, walhamdulillah. The road is clear. It is following the book and the sunnah. Ittiba al-kitabi was sunnah. Wa ma alayhi salaf. Salafu هذه الأمة يعني the way is clear it is following the book and the sunnah and that which the salaf the predecessors of this ummah were upon meaning the companions and the tabi'een the next generation and those who followed them who followed them in their beliefs and in their worship and in their manners and their character and their da'wah and so on this clinging to the book and the sunnah is not clinging with slogans. We follow the Quran and Sunnah, waving flags. Rather, it is living by it. Our aqidah being based upon it. Our character manifesting it. Our manners, our da'wah being derived from the book and Sunnah. In reality, not just in speech. It is not so that every person who ascribes himself to the Salaf who attaches himself to the Salaf, that he will really be entitled to that in reality. Not everyone who ascribes to himself that he is following the way of the Salaf is in fact doing so, until and unless he follows them with Ihsan, yani with Itqan, with precision and perfection and completeness. And this is the condition that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made as a condition. That is Al-Ihsan. Yani al itqan wal itmam that he that they follow the salaf the sahaba the muhajirin and the ansar yani with yani perfection and with completeness and precision so what is con- what we are concerned here or what is considered the point is not the claim to salafia but rather the reality of salafia knowing the manhaj of the salaf and studying the minhaj of the Salaf in terms of the aqidah, their beliefs, and their akhlaq, their character and manners, and their amal, their deeds, their worship, and in all the fields, in all aspects of the minhaj of the Salaf. Not just on the tongue, espousing, waving flags and banners, but rather we have to actually follow this. Otherwise the person is in delusion, deluding their self giving some credit to theirself that they are not entitled to. So it is incumbent upon us, brothers, it's incumbent upon us to actually be serious about studying the minhaj of the Salaf. You are not entitled to this ascription just because you go to a certain masjid and that masjid is the masjid of people of Sunnah. That's not enough. Just because you hang out with certain brothers who say they are Salafi, that's not enough. 
Rather, you have to actually take the time out, sacrifice some of your precious time for studying the manhaj of the Salaf. Knowing it well, in detail, and then living by it. That's what makes the difference. Otherwise, just claims. Anybody can claim. Whoever is traveling upon the manhaj of the Salaf, they are in need of two matters. The first thing is that you have to learn the manhaj of the Salaf. And then he must follow it with ihsan, with perfection and completion and precision. And he must be patient upon that which he meets from the people. Yani the harm that comes to him from the people. And this is not sufficient. But rather he must also spread the manhaj of the salaf. Yani it is, a, it is necessary that he call to Allah. And that he call to the madhab of the salaf. And that he makes it clear to the people and spreads it amongst the people. هَذَا هُوَ السَّلَفِي حَقِيقَةً This is the Salafi in reality.